New Zealand captain Lee Jomon comes in at number three. Won't face right away. That was the last ball of the previous over. Many 30. Jomon played that beautifully. And uh, he does play the hook shot, Jeffrey, pretty well. But he's basically in position to play that shot. And that's why you're suggesting that bowl the ball up a bit further. He's not hitting the crease aggressively. He's just bowling with it himself. In the air and wide. And we've seen that shot a few times this series. And it should get free because Walsh only able to bowl the ball in. New Zealand 50 up. Just over 12 and a half overs. 55 minutes. And through the gap, lovely shot. And a lovely timing to go with the placement for a boundary. So Jamon doing it pretty well today. Well, you can't ball short at the New Zealand captain. And it's down the wicket here, Jamon. He's got it straight of the man at mid-on. I'm not sure it'll go all the way. In fact, they'll get perhaps three. I think it's a little bit, uh, just a little bit uh, of lack of timing, but also down that end of the ground, the outfield looks a little bit uh, slower to me as well, Mikey. break them I think or interpreted the call as break them it was something else it's down the ground he struck it well it'll beat the fielders it's a good shot yes it is he gave himself room brings up his 50 as well the captain has signaled his intention not to allow uh, Adams to carry on just bowling steadily 50 came off 64 balls so that's pretty good Three fours. Bottom ball. Well, that was so simple, wasn't it? Nice little slow ball. Batsman played it with no real aggression. It was almost if he just played it back to the safe, comfortable hands of Jimmy Adams. He's almost played in slow motion, was that dismissal? And he just pushes it nice and comfortably. It's an easy catch. And that's the breakthrough West Indies needed. Three down now for New Zealand for 130.